everyone welcome back to my channel as you can tell from the title i'm here to talk to you today about venting with wisdom adulthood comes with its own set of challenges and at some point or another we feel the need to vent but did you know that there's a way to vent with wisdom so that you don't potentially ruin friendships or even tarnish your own character stay tuned <music> So yes, venting with wisdom. Today I'm going to cover the perspective of two different people. The venter being the person who's doing the venting and the venti, the person that's on the listening end. But before I jump into all of that, I want to appeal to the ventis, the people who are typically the ones on the listening end. Now, I know that sometimes it could, go, it could get overwhelming when you're always the go-to person for people. And as much as you have a big heart and you care, I just want you to know that it is okay to say, hey, not right now sometimes. Is this a pressing issue? Can this wait? Can we put a rain check on that? Girl, I'm not my best self right now. Can this wait just a little bit? Because what you don't want is that your friendship to have a breakdown in it because there's a lack of open communication. So now let's just jump right into it. So say your friend hits you up one day, right? And they're like, girl, I'm having such a bad day. I need somebody to talk to. Are you available? Are you busy? This is the point where open communication is very important. So you want to establish what is the goal of this venting session? Is your friend looking for just a listening ear? Are they looking for answers or are they looking for both? And the reason why this is very important is because one, if you're always the person to have to give answers, that tends to get draining really quickly. And it tends to happen on a subconscious level first. Before you know it, you're resenting your friend, you're shunning them because you feel like, oh my gosh, with this person, I always have to figure something out. When you know what, it's not even necessarily that's the case all the time. So you wanna ask your friend, hey girl, what is it that you're looking for from me in this moment? Are you looking for just a listening ear? Are you looking for answers or are you looking for both? Now, if you find yourself falling into that cycle of always being the friend to give answers, I just wanna kindly say stop. Because one, not only does it drain you, but you're doing your friend a disservice because you have to give people space to figure things out for themselves sometimes not out of not out of uh hate or anything but out of love for them because at some point as an adult we have to be able to figure things out on our own so that's point number one have really clear communication find out exactly what it is that your friend is expecting from you because you know what in friendship or in any relationships really there shouldn't be any space for assumptions because with humans, we tend to assume the worst. So yes, open communication. Now to the venti. I've been there many a times where something is going on and you just need somebody to talk to right now. You feel like you're bursting at the seams and you need your friend now, now, now. But I want to appeal to you and ask you to just consider this at the very least. When you're going through a moment like that, find it somewhere in you, somewhere, to first ask your friend, hey, is this a good time to talk? Hey, are you busy? And just kind of give them that freedom and that option to answer and to answer truthfully. I know sometimes when you have something pressing going on, you need to, you need to speak to someone right away. But guess what? If your friend isn't their best self at that point in time, Chances are they can't even help you in the best way anyway. So it's really just out of courtesy, out of care, out of kindness, and out of love. First find out if your friend is in the frame of mind even to hear what is it that you have to say. And I'm pretty sure if it's a true friendship, it's not that they don't want to hear it at all. Maybe that's just in that moment, it's not a good sign. But if you find yourself in a situation where you're looking maybe to one, two, three, four. How many, how many of a friends that you have that you vent to and for some reason, none of them are there in that moment? I think that's a good time to consider that maybe humans aren't the ones that you should be talking to in that moment. And I know if you're a person who tends to cling on to your loved ones, that can feel devastating. But honestly, think about it. 
if it just so happens that none of your friends are there in that particular moment, that isn't a time to say, oh man, nobody cares about me. I have no friends. No, really, that's the time where you should just try to reel it on in and reach out to God and speak to him and lay everything at his feet. Because if you really think about this, what if your friend is having a bad day or your friends and the understanding that they have or their perceptions are a little skewed in that moment because they're going through their own difficulties, they're really no, not much good to you anyway because they're going through their own thing. So now is the time to put on your praise and worship, pull out your prayer journal, and just really speak to God with an open, transparent heart. And you know what? In that moment, you would have gained so much strength that not only would you be able to help yourself, but say your friend was to call you now and say, girl, you won't believe what just happened. Now you can be that friend in turn to your friend who's always listening because you're not pouring from an empty cup. So think about that. If you enjoyed today's video, feel free to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't, leave a friendly comment. I'd like to hear from you. Until next time, thank you for listening and remember, thank with wisdom. Thank you.